Good afternoon. Welcome on into another episode of From Day One. This afternoon, courtesy of our good friend Law Talk with Mike, let's find out when somebody tries to take over the courtroom and make it an Al Moroccan instead. Hold on, uh, and we still have to deal with the motion to vacate his sentence and any other motions that Mr. Shaw Al would like to proceed on. So you may proceed, Mr. Shaw Al. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have a motion to vacate a sentence. So I'm guessing, although I don't have any information beyond this clip, that uh, he was convicted of something and was sentenced, and he's now filing a motion to vacate. Cecil Shaw L. and appropriate personas to jurors, I appear here by special appearance. Uh, here we go. Um, in regards to the bill of attainment 17 CF 369, all matters have been removed from the Cal County of Illinois Corporation and the United States District Court, and so. Uh, I know they have jurisdiction and venue, Article 3 jurisdiction. All rise and stand. This is now a sovereign living Article 3 Morris America. I'm a rock and council of court action. I'm sovereign living Justice Cecil Shahil, Capital Dominion, Lucio, Lolo. And wait, 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 no, no one rose and stood. You know, maybe we need to go back and try that again. Red ink and appropriate persona to jurors and appropriate solo and appropriate arrest. Um, I'm currently being subject to involuntary servitude that's prohibited by the 13th Amendment of all 20 sections by way of kidnapping, uh, human trafficking, and a heap of other crimes. Well, the only crime that I, I'm aware of so far is the one that you got convicted of. I'm currently being warehoused as a POW in the Illinois Republic Territory, uh, known as... Probably incarcerated. By the way, the, the state is pronounced Illinois. Dixon Correctional Center Corporation of the, of the Illinois Department of Corrections. My delegation of authority is affirmed for the record, um, pursuant to the poor provisions of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship and the Constitution for the United States of America. Uh, oh no. Okay, we've cited the, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. I gotta put my thinking cap on for this one. Ah, let's go. Article 3, Sections 1 and 2 of our National Trust, uh, as supported by Article 4 and Section 4. Um, as my own delegation of authority as the lawful beneficiary to the original jurisdiction is presented and affirmed for the record on the penalty of perjury uh, and it's uncontested i'm the only authority on this call and for this court of records um, as all matters concerning morals ought to be addressed in a lawful jurisdiction venue as according to the supreme law of the land and common law exclusively as pursuant to the National Trust, our government is consensus. Wait a second. If you want, if you want to claim your more, I think you need to fess, my friend. I, I think that's that's the only way to go. And <laughs> I'm going to cite the Marrakesh Law Society versus the state of New Jersey for that proposition. Just because I was going to tell you, I, I think he's insane, but okay, that works. Businesses, as judges, <laughs> uh, have authority in all matters of government on the land, known as the United States of America major, ought to be recognized. And you are receiving direct orders under my civil authority as Aboriginal Indigenous Habitant on American State soil and signatory to the aforementioned contracts as to the lawful beneficiary. And again, it's affirmed and documented for the record. These issues are of federal allodial, and the removal basis is of status, diversity of citizenship, diversity of nationality, uh, um, conflict of interest, conflict of law. Uh, there's there, there's no diversity of citizenship that would involve two different states. This is all Illinois, as far as I can tell. Uh, and there's no diversity of nationality because uh, I'm, I'm guessing you're a United, United States citizen. I think you're claiming Moorish nationality, and it's a fiction and doesn't exist. So, you know, that's where we are. All, all matters of federal question and um, international crimes of fraud and treason. I think what he's trying to say here is capital felony treason. Uh, let the record show... The man with the blue mask on, wearing a black robe, uh, sitting down, is uh, Philip Montgomery doing business. No, he is yeah. your Yeah, owner. we call him Judge. This says the Cal County and Philip Morris Corporation Administrator uh, slash Debt Collector. Philip Montgomery has just stated that Scott Swirly is also present. Uh, my office sees somebody behind Philip Montgomery. Could we put the camera on Scott Swirly so we can identify him? But the record reflect that Mr. Shortley is appearing via Zoom and that there are three people appearing via Zoom, myself, <clears throat> you, 
and Mr. Schwartley, the record reflected, Mr. Schwartley is clearly seeable on the Zoom camera. The TV oh. is split into three sections. One section has me, one section has Mr. Schwartley, and one section has Mr. Shaw out. So are there any other DeKalb County of Illinois Corporation officials or United States District Court officials on the call um, in the room that has any way to touch this matter? Is anybody else present? There are other people in the room, but they've not had anything to do with your case. Oh, they're the denied. Here. She's taking down everything you say. Okay, is there a bailiff in the room? No. I love it. The judge has to check. He doesn't know. I mean, all this is so pointless. It's hilarious. I, I, the prosecutor cracks me up. His facial expressions are fantastic. You might be wondering why is the judge doing it. I will give it. I will give it to you in one phrase: due process. He's letting this guy run out. Uh, th that's it. He's making no sense. He does not make sense. But he's he's letting him have his his day. He's he's filed a motion that's never going to be granted because he can't even articulate. Uh, one sentence that makes sense. Okay, is there anybody else in the uh, Zoom room? There's no one else uh, in the Zoom room. Mm -hmm. there's, if there's no one in the Zoom waiting room, there's no one else in the Zoom room. There are okay. other people in the courtroom now. Okay, do you understand that no United States corporate citizen has personal, territorial, political, or subject matter jurisdiction? In, in these matters, as I'm the law. Uh, no, because if that was true, no one would ever be able to prosecute anyone, ever. And again, just like he was saying, it's Illinois, not Illinois. Just like people like to say Des Moines instead of Des Moines. Um, the government. On body and all land and property are in the jurisdiction of my ancestral state. Yes, by the way, he's completely in contempt of court. However, you have to see the context of it. The judge is calm because what he's got is uh, he's he's convicted, he's incarcerated, from what I can tell, and he's filing a motion to vacate his sentence, which is not going to be granted because of the merit. At this time, at all points in time, Mr. Shaw, we're here on your motion to vacate as well as whatever other motions that you might feel are pertinent for the court to take up, so you may proceed. Again, do you understand that no United States corporate citizen has personal, territorial, political, or subject matter jurisdiction in these matters? As I am the law, I am the government, my body and all land and property are in the jurisdiction of my ancestral inherited state at this time and all points in time. I, I'll be quite honest, I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, Judge. Let the record reflect that. Don't worry, Your Honor. No one does. Doing business as the Cal County of Illinois administrative slash debt collector, a fiduciary. Uh, that's Your Honor to you. And failing to perform under the national national trust, and is incompetent, sir. You're disqualified. I'm going to take your silence to equate an agreement. As the bill of the 17 CF 369, the true nature has not been described. I mean, it's not. Silence, you didn't even stop for one tenth of a second. How is he supposed to object to you being stupid as fuck anyway? I've been disclosed by the Cal County of Norris Corporation nor any of its agents, including all of All right, I, I, I'm going to have to move this forward a little bit. I, I did preview it. It's a lot of word salad, and I can only hear him say Illinois so many times without losing my mind. I agree with you. you. Stop pronouncing a silent and Unlawful search and seizures. Denial of due process of law. Denial of a fair and speedy public trial. And a lawful jurisdiction and venue. Denial of life, liberty, and property. Denial of jury of my own national peers. Denial of post bail, cruel and unusual punishment, libel. Wait a minute, a jury of his own national peers? What are we supposed to get? Nine unicorns? Also, it's prohibited by the Constitution Bill of Attainments, as stated in Article 1, Section 9. Also, including tampering with evidence or attempting to construct my or convert my affidavit of facts into a motion. <laughs> oh, the affidavit of facts, that's beautiful. Um, 
As to all matters of bill of obtaining the 17 CF 369, I order Douglas J. Johnson to enter this judgment into the public record and all listed default judgments. I order Lord Grubbs to enter default judgments. I order Lord Grubbs to discharge unlawful indictment slash bill of obtaining the 17 CF 369 and all other bill of obtainers in the Cal County of the Morris Corporation. I order immediate lease of myself from the color of the custody of Illinois Department of Corrections. I order damages be paid in the amount of 5000 per hour for unlawful detainment and the color of the custody. Uh, Only $5,000 per hour? Why not ask for millions? Orders will be placed in the mail uh, as follows. I hereby issue an arrest warrant and order of arrest command to the sheriff and his deputies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out, time out. Did he just, as a guy who's sitting in jail, call out a warrant for the arrest of the sheriff, the deputies, the head of the deal, the lawyer, and the judge? Boy, delusional runs quick. To the bailiff, uh, the Grand Army of the Republic, formerly known as the United States Military. Wow, I, I, I'm, you know, the, the audio is hard for me to, to hear as well, but I, I do believe that he, he just issued an arrest warrant for, <laughs> for everybody, literally for everybody. Uh, to be executed pursuant to statutes of law, 17 statute. Hey, does that warrant then also go for you and me, Mikey? With without necessary delay for the DeKalb County of Illinois, including Robin Stucker, Philip Montgomery, ought to be detained and tried by the military tribunals. I order all liens on DeKalb County of Illinois Corporation and its agents to be satisfied. I order the forfeiture of all rights and property of all who have any way touched this matter. I order fines 10000 per violation for trademark infringement fee at common law for each violation. Of in this whole mix of stuff, he actually uh, just just now claims a trademark infringement free fee. <laughs> oh Lord, it's good. Construct my my name, Cecil Shaw to that of fiction. Uh, lawful golden silk silk coin tender. Uh, as consistent with Article One Section Ten, I ordered the seizure of all real and personal property and assets. And account holdings of all name therein. I order the U.S. Treasury to discontinue funding to the ends of the Jewish United States Treasury, uh, State of Illinois Corporation, Illinois Department of Corrections, and the Cal County of Illinois Corporation. Again, if anybody want to contest, uh, deny, refute, the but uh, anything being stated, which is all affirmed for the record, you can do so by swearing in on the penalty of perjury or producing a wet ink signature with anything you have to say. Are you done? Okay, Mr. Schwirley, at this time I haven't heard uh, much in the way of argument in regards to the motion to vacate the sentence. I recall the trial in this matter. I recall the facts and circumstances that gave rise to the sentence that he received. Let the record show the foot. As well as the... Um, I love it. He, he mutes him so fast, he, he you can barely tell. It, it, it just just a hint of, of pause in what he was saying. criminal history that the defendant had, I think that the sentence is appropriate, and the motion to vacate the sentence is denied. Mr. Shortley, is there anything else that you think we need to address at this time? Well, there you have it. That was fun. Uh, he goes on for a long time. It's a long video. It's like 28 minutes long. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I, and it's it's from, I'm not sure if it's the defendant himself. Somebody records it off off from a TV. It's it's deliciously awful. The whole thing's sort of gritty. It's like you put Ronnie Davis from Bears Law and the Marrakesh Law Society and, and all of them into a blender and and he spits out every, every bit of it. There, there is not a bad song sit or Moorish legal thought that he does not um, try to inject into this scenario. <laughs>
but uh, again, it amazes me. They're, they're still doing it. Well, as you can see here, I've got my fancy uh, Sovereign System Patrol t-shirt on. It's pretty cool. I got another one here. They all say Law Talk with Mike on the back. And ladies, I didn't forget about you. Thank you, Mikey. And if you guys do want any of that stuff, Mike will be more than happy to help you go over search him at Law Talk with Mike. With that, we'll bring the afternoon to a close. Come on back tonight for more fun, more craziness, more subsets as we march along here from day one. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you tonight.